Jesus, name let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him, Lord of all. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him, Lord of all. Good morning. Good morning. Come together on this Saturday morning to begin our weekend and we begin this Mass as we begin each day of our lives. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you as we come together this morning to praise God for all his goodness to us, to bring an end to our week. We thank God for all his goodness and we also call to mind our faults and our failings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And let us pray. Set aside, O Lord, the bond of sentence written for us by the law of sin, which in the Paschal mystery you canceled through the resurrection of Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. As the number of disciples continued to grow, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. So the 12 called together the community of the disciples and said, it is not right for us to neglect the word of God and to serve at table. Brothers, select among, from among you seven reputable men, filled with the spirit and wisdom, whom we shall appoint to this task whereas we shall devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The proposal was acceptable to the whole community, so they chose Stephen, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, also Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenas, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid hands on them. The word of the God continued to spread, and the num number of disciples in Jerusalem increased greatly. Even a large group of priests were becoming obedient to the faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kingdom is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the Holy Ones. For who in the skies can rank with the Lord, who is like the Lord among the sons of God? Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the people who know the joyful shout in the light of your countenance, O Lord, they would. At your name they rejoice all day and through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Oh. 
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Cleanse my mind, my lips, and my heart. When it was evening, the disciples of Jesus went down to the sea, embarked in a boat, and went across the sea to Capernaum. It had already grown dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea was stirred up because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they began to be afraid. Jesus said to them, It is I, do not be afraid. They wanted to take him into the boat, but the boat immediately arrived at the shore to which they were heading. The Gospel of the Lord. Key phrases during this Easter season. Peace be with you. Do not be afraid. I use this quote quite a bit in some homilies. And it's a quote from not my favorite president, but one of my favorite presidents. Ranks in the top three for me. And that's Mr. Roosevelt. uh, Not Teddy, but Franklin, when he said, we have nothing to fear but fear itself. And how many people do live in fear? Afraid, um, different phobias that they have, or afraid within that if people really knew what they were like, they wouldn't be liked. Uh, All different kinds of fears. A personal fear of mine is a fear of heights. I don't mind airplanes, I don't mind helicopters, but I'm not a fan of climbing ladders, especially when you step off the ladder onto the roof. Our Lord says, do not be afraid. First, he comes to them. Second, he recognizes their fear. And third, he offers them calm and brings them immediately to the shoreline. This weekend, if you have some time, I would invite you to look inside yourself. Do you have any fears? What are they? Are they silly fears, like fears of spiders or a fear of ants? Or are they deeper? Do we turn to the Lord? Give our fears over to him and let him give his comfort over to us. Let us pray. We pray for the church throughout the world that in her liturgies and in her teachings she may be a sign of God's love and comfort and consolation to all people. We pray to the Lord. We pray for our world leaders that they may work for a world of peace and justice and equity for all. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick and those who care for them. We pray for our New York State Police, the Oneida County Sheriff, our city police, for all firefighters, those paid and those who volunteer in the outlying communities, for the members of the EMT community, and the Ambulance Brigade, for all those men and women who each day put their life potentially on the line to protect us, we pray to the Lord. We pray for the petitions for the Mass today, the petitions from St. John the Baptist and Transfiguration. We pray for the intentions from St. Peter's and St. Mary's and also from St. Paul's and St. Joseph's, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts.
Almighty God, you sent your Son to us, like us in all things, to redeem us from sin. By your grace, call many fears that we may have. And if it be your will, we ask that you answer these prayers we've placed before you today. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Number 456, you are mine. I will come to you in the silence. I will lift you from all your fears. You will hear my voice. I claim you as my choice. Be still and know I am here. Do not be afraid. I am Called you each by name. Come and follow me, I will bring you home. I love you, and you are Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand, the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Sanctify graciously these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim what death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her beloved spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we beseech you, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Douglas, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with each of you. With your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, miserere nobis, miserere nobis. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, miserere nobis, miserere nobis. Lamb of God, you take away the sins Pace, 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to share in this banquet of love. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a nice weekend. You too, Father. Number 387, sent forth by God's blessing. Send forth by God's blessing, our true faith confessing, the people of God from his dwelling take thee. God sacrifice ended, oh, now be extended, the fruits of this mass in all hearts who believe. The seed of Christ teaching, our inner souls reaching, shall blossom in action for God and for all. His grace shall incite us, his love shall unite us to further God's kingdom and answer his call.